Hey everyone, it's Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be talking a little bit about what you guys should be looking into in your storages. So depending on what you have in your storage, you're going to be able to find prices that are unbelievable for certain items. They're going to make you tons and tons of gold if you have them in your storages. One of the most obvious ones is definitely the Timeless Great Sword Shard. So because the Great Sword just came out, these are not readily available to many people quite yet. So if you're not ruling a great sword yourself in the crafting station, I would definitely take advantage of the current price of about 3.2K per shard. I would definitely be selling these because as time goes on, we will see more of these come out and more and more people will continue to stack them and this price will continue to go down just like we see across the board with the rapier, the great axe, the, the everything else basically when it comes to a weapon is much, much lower in price when it comes to these timeless shards. So definitely take advantage of this shard right here. 3,200 gold as the sell price in EU Central uh, Sierra City. You can actually see there's a bunch of different servers. We're not going to take a look at all the servers, but I am going to say, you know, it does depend on the server you're on. So most likely you're on a different server than all of these, and you're going to have to check out your price specifically. You can also see where they're dropped. So in this case, you can see dropped by eight different people. You can actually see Shardis, Scylla, which is, if you guys don't know, Shardis is Lazarus Instrumentality. It drops Fury, it drops uh, the Hand Wraps, it drops all of these great different things. But the Timeless Shard is actually one of the best drops right now because you're going to get about 3.2k per Timeless Great Sword Shard. I'm not going to jump too much more into this, but I want to jump into the next one because this one's a little bit less in value, but it's something you've been able to accumulate over a long period of time now as timeless amulet shards have really kind of been out in the game for quite some time obviously and you might have a stack of them just sitting in your inventory or your storage and if they sell for about 800 gold a piece you can actually make a very very good gold here uh timeless amulet shards again if you want to see it's contained in caches of depths dynasty garden of genesis lazarus tempest and mutated arminates but it's dropped by the same exact mobs as before so some ancient like shardis some of the angry earth you can see the caretakers in there i'm not going to jump too much into this but like i said the timeless amulet shard is something that a lot of you guys may have a lot of and because it's at 700 to 800 gold it's going to be something that's going to make you a lot of money if you do have a stack from you know a couple months back so let's take a look at the next one in line and this is a much more commonly known one before we get into the big big really money makers out of all of them uh, so this one is sulfur chunks right not too exciting but it is selling for about 20 gold on Kier city which is an eu central server you can see why this is a big deal because sulfur chunks are not hard to get really and 20 gold a piece can actually make you quite a bit of money very, very quickly. Um, this is probably something that you're not going to have stuck in your storage and you just kind of, oh, look at this. I have a million of these in my storage. No, but you can go out and hunt these if this is something you want to do. And I don't want to make a full video on just hunting sulfur chunks. So there you go. That's a little tidbit or tip of information there. I want to jump, though, before we get into some of the new stuff, some of the old stuff we talked about in our last 25K plus sitting in your gold or sorry of gold sitting in your storage i think that's what we called it but let's take a look at squirming vines squirming vines is definitely one of them you can sell these for 18k right now we've talked about this in a previous video but i wanted to re-mention this for people that missed it because this is a lot of gold Eighteen thousand coins when you get one of these squirming vines to drop it's basically going to have shirking fortification perk enabled so you have to use these to actually craft the shirking fortification on a piece of armor which is crazy. This is exactly why, like I said, you're seeing this price at 18,000. It's because it's a best in slot perk for a lot of people. Again, if you go through the next one, it's going to be the second best in slot or maybe even best in slot for certain builds, the freedom perk. And that's going to be shard of concentrated iron. This one sells for about 23K. So we have an 18K and a 23K here. If you have a single piece of both of these, you're already looking at about 50K, which is crazy that you just have that sitting in your storage. And that's why I had to re-mention these because these are the biggest out of all of the ones mentioned today. However, I will say there is more to look into. It's not just going to be about the freedom and shirking for uh, resources perks again because we did talk about like i said the great sword shard which is actually selling still very very well amulet shard same thing sulfur chunks kind of a tip of things you can do to actually make money pretty quickly right now depending on your server price for these but the next one in line is going to be called the evergreen weapon shard the orbital attunement attacks deal an additional 18 percent weapon damage as nature 
This is huge. This is going to be a very, very big part of the new meta. If you guys don't know, people have been stacking this for a while, good players. However, bad players don't know about it yet. So guess what's going to happen? Good players are going to slowly get people convinced that this is the next way to go. You have to imagine 18% weapon damage. Cooldown is one second. That's a lot of extra damage every second of attacks. So this is something that I see the price going up in quite a bit. If we take a look at some of these servers, Marama is at 900 gold. We take a look at Valhalla. It's probably a little lower, but I will say, yeah, 400 gold. But Marama is at 900 gold, depending on your server. You may even see this at 1,000. I think Bari's, or not Bari, what is it? Kier? No, Va one of these I thought was at 1,000, but I did see one at 1,000 on somebody's server very, very recently. So Evergreen Weapon Shard is another one to look out for. You may have a lot of it, and it may be selling quite a bit on your server. So if we take a look at the next one in line, it's actually going to be kind of just explaining the process of why you may not, if you are crafting them yourself, want to go for the Evergreen Weapon Shard. Yes, a lot of people don't have nature resistance. However, not many people have Avoid uh, avoid resistance either. So hollow weapon shard is going to be much cheaper if you're looking to craft with these, and it's going to do the exact same thing. Besides, it's going to do damage as void instead of damage in, as nature. And I will say, if we look at the attunements, you don't want flame attunement, right? Because flame attunement, you know, unless you're going extra fire damage on your ring or something. It's not going to be good for you just because a lot of people are running that flame resistance and then you're just going to get a lot of that damage resisted. And that's the same thing with frost attunement. You're going to have ice resistance out there as well, a lot more commonly than void or nature. So I would stay away from the fire and the uh, frost unless you're trying to stack ice damage or fire damage because you have boosts or bonuses in those categories. So that's my take on the weapons uh, or really the crafting of these weapon shards. But when it comes down to it, there's a lot of money to be made in these storages, and that's why I made today's quick video. If this helped you at all today, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications on. I do want to say as well, guys, in the comments below, or in the description at the very least, I'll have a link to my Twitch. It's called twitch.tv slash iGraphicEye. We're going to be doing drops and New World skin drops all throughout this week. They're new skins, and if you want these new skins, I'll be streaming and giving them out. Basically, by you just watching, you'll, you'll be able to activate them and earn them. So hopefully you guys are able to support me there, like I said, on the stream. But thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I'll see you guys all in the next one.